Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia, and I'm getting ready to pour my sixth in a series of nine of the Sherwin-Williams Interior Decoration Enneagram series. In the Enneagram series, the Sherwin-Williams identified the personality traits of some of the colors and kind of grouped them together, so I thought it was fun. This Color means you're easily distracted. This one is visionaries who observe and contemplate. And over here, it's excited to learn and develop. So the colors, besides reminding me of like hydrangeas, being very subtle and soft and delicate, um, people that like to observe, listen, and come up with ideas, but are a little bit distracted. <laughs> that explains my husband almost to a T, so it'll be interesting to see if he's drawn to this color combination or if he thinks it's boring. So let's pour some colors and see what we come up with. I thought I would do a white cell activator on this record that I intend to make into a clock or just, I have these little plate holders that you can attach to the back, so um, I might not make all of them into clocks, but offer to make them into clocks in case someone just wants to have a pretty little round. I like the round shape. It's nice. All right, so um, here's the order I'm going to pour it in. My easily distracted beautiful color goes first. Most of these, these are all except for the really light blue are all hand mixed colors. This is kind of a bluish lavender mixed with some gray. This is this one gave me fits. It's still not quite right, but it's going to have to do. I mixed up two different batches of paint and still didn't get the exact color I wanted, so it's close, but I think I want it a little bit bluer, but you know, it is what it is at this point. Just kind of making sure I'm keeping it in the center a little bit. I like that blue. I think I'll pour some coasters and trivets out of these same colors next. All right, and the last color is this really dark, warm, excited to learn, I think was the and develop, I think. That was it, excited to learn and develop. Yeah, that's what that color is. <laughs> All right, let's try it with a white cell activator, but I think this would also look pretty stunning with, uh-oh, that's got, I got a toothpick handy because that had something in it. And I wanna get it out now. Yeah. Don't need that happening. All right, let's try this again. We'll pour a little bit more of that cell activator on there. There we go. I'm gonna blow this around with my Revlon tool. And we'll see what we come up with. All right, here we go. So the edge of my record's here. I just want to kind of have it, I want to wait for this to come back to the middle because it blew down so much there. And I've got some nice, like it would be fun to put down that blowing tool and just kind of spin it as I am blowing it. Um, and then I get a really kind of a nice roughly, but this definitely has petals and it does remind me of a hydrangea. So I'm okay with that. So I want to kind of move this down a little bit 
towards this edge too. So the spin, because this is right here at the edge. So the spin is kind of spinning at the same, I don't know. I don't want this to be all white up here and then lose all of the colors there trying to get the white off, so. All right, I think we're ready to spin. Are you ready to see it? Let's give it a go. Was a lot of pillow is what that was. So very delicate, very hydrangea. Okay, what should, should we try this with a black cell activator too? Let's do it on a trivet with, I think I have enough records. I could do these same colors with black and we'll just compare. Let's see. Um, for right now, let me have you, let's see, I better get something to put that on. So bear with me here for just one second and we'll go on and we'll do this again with black. I think my tool's on the other side of the table and I can't get to it. So let me just see if I have any luck lifting this up without any trouble. Good. Okay. So here we have it. Let you come and take a close look. Very delicate, soft palette. Um, but pleasing, soothing. I think this would just make you go, ah, <laughs> you know? Hmm, I wonder if I want to try and get that little blank spot off. If I do, I want to spin it, not... Let's give it one more spin right there. I was afraid that wasn't stuck down well. A little bit more. I just want to try and get that little, it almost looks like a fingerprint, even though it's not. But. I think even maybe one more. Okay, I like that better. And some of those other cells stretched out. I've got more color now. That's actually a little better. So let me go get Pardon me while I get my little tool here. Reach in front of you. Sorry about that. Okay, now I can lift this up a little bit better. Get my little spatula there. Okay. So now we have a little more color, but a little, a mo lot more of that blue showed through. Not much of that bottom lilac which is what I wanted to show more of but all right it looks pretty good but let's try it with black and see what we get so put this down back over here I came over on this side of the camera so I could lay this down <clears throat> on some little cups to dry Holy cow. Okay. Sorry, everyone. I wasn't planning on this, but let's just do it. Let's do the, um, how much time are we at? Nine minutes? All right. Bear with me. I think I already have the paints mixed up. <coughs> and I'm just going to put a little piece of ruled tape down on the bottom. And then another piece of tape over the whole of another record. And then we'll try it. And see which one we like better. And then I'll make some trivets and coasters out of it. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little piece of tape rolled up down here. That'll hold the record in place while I spin it. 
lay my record down. These are just little 10 inch records, but they're the old ones. They're like extra thick. It's kind of nice. Wow, oh, that's not gonna work. I gotta take my gloves off. I hate to waste gloves, but I can't get this tape really well with, with my gloves on. I didn't tear it well, so I had a big rough edge. And then it wasn't going to spread nicely. And I don't want that to happen. So here's another little piece, a little bit better there. Okay, here we go. Take two, I'm gonna have to put on another glove. All right, I can save that one and put it on after it dries out a little. But with a black cell activator, same order, second verse. Let's see what we get. Start with the lilac. And this kind of color that gave me so much trouble. <laughs> what do you think? I think it reminds me of hydrangeas for sure. One of my pillow all spread out a little even, but I'm gonna put that back in the middle. And I got a lot of that blue came through on that other one. Okay, and here's the top color. And now, I just mixed up some black. So let's pour that out and see what a kind of a different look we get. All right, are you ready for this? I was going to try and blow that out more, but I don't want to ruin those beautiful cells there. So, so a little bit smokier looking. So this one I kind of blew and turned. I didn't blow as far out on this first one, and then I kind of got my groove going here. Um... So we'll see. I think I'm going to lose a lot of this trying to get that out. So what am I, see if I can't move it a little bit over to the edge there a little bit more before I start spinning. All right, ready? Let's go. This is the one I was talking about. It's going to, let's give it another spin. So again, I lose a lot of the pink and the lavender, but I mean, it's pretty, but I'm um, here. I'm going to have you take a closer look at this now. Take this off. So this was a fun little experiment because I have same colors, same order, two different colored cell activators, and it completely changes the look of it. Let me put this down on some cups so you can kind of see it separate from the turntable here. Well, 
really I lost a lot of the lilac and pink but it's very pretty <laughs> so I've got the black cell activator there and the white is there which do you like better with these colors let me know and until we meet again have fun painting everyone bye